teen survived this violent crash. The impact so intense, their truck actually became lodged underneath an 18 wheeler. But it's what happened miles away that same night that really added insult to injury. The crash happened Monday off Decker Road in Oakland in East Harris County. Both teens had to be flown to the hospital. Channel 2 Sophia Bosile spoke with one of the teens and joins us live where that crash happened. Sophia? Hi, good evening. We're along Decker Drive, which is along I-10 in East Harris County, and this is where the crash happened Monday night. William Sims, he's at home. He's recovering. Now, the person who is in the passenger seat, she is still in the hospital. She's in an induced coma. She has two broken arms and a broken leg. But William tells us he's thanking God that he's alive tonight. By looking at this picture, you would think whoever was inside this mangled truck didn't survive. But 18-year-old William Sims and his 17-year-old friend Mariah somehow made it out alive. It just happened so fast. All I really remember is getting pried out of the truck with, like, the jaws alive. William is recovering at home with only cuts and bruises after his truck slammed into an 18-wheeler Monday night. I feel blessed to be alive. I know I should have lost my life. I'm going back and looking at the photos of my truck. I know I should have at least lost my head. William told deputies he was driving around the curve on Decker Drive in Oakland Street near I-10 when he didn't see a big rig pulling out of a business. That's when he crashed his truck, which was wedged underneath the 18-wheeler. As soon as I woke up, I just started praying. You know, I was like, I do not want to be preaching a funeral. Friends, family, and William's pastor gathered around him in the hospital thinking to themselves the teen must have a bigger purpose in life. When I saw the pictures, I was thinking God is good. This is a, definitely a miracle uh, because I just don't see how, how he lived through it. But while doctors worked on him, someone broke into his family's home that same night, stealing TVs, video consoles, and money. You know, just like the enemy, he's always trying to attack, but William's been encouraged through the whole thing. Encouraged that no matter what happens, he has his life and loved ones by his side. William says he's relying on faith to get through this and that he's thankful for his pastor, his family and friends, and that they're all praying for the passenger who was with him. They have a GoFundMe for both of them. Online, you can go to click2houston.com if you're interested in donating. Reporting live from East Harris County, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia.